Hi, welcome to Miss Music. On this channel, I'm looking at music that may have passed you by. So sometimes some of the more obscure groups. I suppose everyone has their own take on when the best era of music was. But if you're into alternative music, then that's got to be the late 80s, early 90s. With bands like Sugar, The Throwing Muses, The Pixies, Smashing Pumpkins, Nirvana, it was just amazing. And for me, this was a time when American bands were really dominating the, the alternative music scene, the indie music scene, and were much, much more interesting than the bands that were coming out of the UK at the time. For me, these bands just had the edge over the British bands. They were more inventive, more imaginative, they were louder, they were angrier, there was more passion. So in this video, I wanna have a look at the Breeders, and for me, one of the best albums anyone's ever made. Pod. So the version of the Breeders on Pod is Kim Deal, the bassist of the Pixies, and Tanya Donnelly, the guitarist from the Throwing Muses, who would later go on to form the band Belly. Both of these artists had already made some brilliant music, but Pod is just something different, something special, and something otherworldly. So reason number one to listen to Pod is it's like nothing else I think you will have heard before. The songs are haunting and often have a nightmarish quality to them. The lyrics are almost unfathomable. They never quite explain anything and that leaves you feeling uh, a bit spooked, a bit mystified. Listen to this track, Hellbound. Downtown Town Reason number two, and this may be an odd reason, and it's a very personal reason, is that listening to this album really got me into the books of the Irish writer, Iris Murdoch. And I can really see now why Kim Deal wanted to sing about Iris Murdoch. Murdoch has this amazing ability, if you've read any of her books, to often write about the most mundane scenes. But when you finish reading them, you're just left with a feeling of 
dread. And it's very difficult to know why and what's caused this, this feeling. It's exceptional writing. And Pod does that. The tracks on Pod do that. And I love the way this track begins with this very kind of hypnotic rhythm. The sounds of the guitars are always fantastic on Breeders' albums. And then she just screams through the chorus, her voice full of anger and disgust. It's, it's amazing stuff. Take a listen to Iris. Reason number three, I think, is just the musicality of the group. There's something quite deceptive about the breeders. When you listen to them, the songs almost seem over simplistic, but I can't imagine anyone else being able to write these songs. The sound of these tracks is like nothing else. And I've read that Kim Dewis can spend months and months and months just playing with the guitar sound, get, getting the right sound to fit the mood of a song and that pervades throughout this album. What I really love is the guitar playing. Now when you listen to these tracks and you listen to the solos, I think just about all of these solos can be played just using one or two uh, fingers. So that makes them quite simple. But then there's this kind of ingenuity 
when I was listening to this album, I thought there was a similarity as well to be drawn with the guitar playing of someone like Tony Iommi, who lost uh, a couple of fingers and had to relearn to play the guitar. And, th and that leads to that very distinct Black Sabbath sound. And I think if he hadn't lost those fingertips, you wouldn't have Black Sabbath. That sound would never have been created. It's to do with the restraint. It, it's the restraint that creates that sound. And it's the same with the breeders. Take a listen to Limehouse. stress how much I love this album. I remember the first time listening to it on a cassette tape and I go back to it again and again and again and I never get bored with the pod. Thanks for listening. If you like the channel, do subscribe. If you have any suggestions of music that you love but you think not many people have heard of, then please let me know.